Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of comparing and ordering numbers. This is standard 3.2D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 25 of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so pretty straightforward here. We've got a table. We've got the area in square miles of four states. Look like they're four of the smaller states, Connecticut, Vermont, Hawaii, and New Hampshire. And we need to find which of those lists puts them in order. And then it's always very important to pay attention going least to greatest. Sometimes we'll go greatest to least. All right, so they do have it lined up for us here, but I'm gonna rewrite these because I want to highlight the place value, All right? So starting over on the right, uh, there is no decimal. So this is going to be just our ones place. Sometimes if we have a decimal, like we're looking at money, right? It's going to be the point to the left of that decimal, but that's the ones place. And I'm just going to use the digit one to show the value, right? Here's the tens place rather than using the word 10. I'll write the value of that digit. So that's the tens place. Here's the hundreds place. We should notice that the number of zeros shows you how many blank spots there are between that place and uh, the you know and the ones place, or including the ones place. And then we've got one thousand, right? So there's three extra spots, one, two, three, to the right of that. So there's I've got one, two, three zeros, just like the hundreds. I've got two extra spots. To the right of the hundred spot and I've got two zeros so that's how you can always kind of keep that in mind so let's put our numbers underneath here so they all go to the thousands place because we have that comma there that shows us uh, that thousands period so I'm just going to write it like this four thousand eight hundreds four tens five ones we normally call it 45 we can Say it like that when we write it out. Same with Vermont. We have nine thousands, six hundreds, two tens, twenty, and four ones, four. Hawaii, we've got six thousands, four hundreds, two tens, that's like a twenty, three ones, put NH here for New Hampshire, nine thousands. Three hundreds, five tens, zero ones. So we are looking for least to greatest. So when you order numbers, you always start with the largest, not the smallest, the largest place value. And sometimes it's easy because you have numbers that stick out a little bit. They might go to the ten thousands place, or maybe a number only goes to the hundreds place. In this case, all four numbers go to the thousands place. So that's where we're going to start. And we are looking for our least, right? This means smallest number. So look at my four numbers, four, nine, six, nine. Automatically, without looking at anything else, that's going to be my smallest number. It makes no difference that look at the hundreds place. See that eight right there? That hundreds place, that actually has more hundreds than any of the other three numbers, but it doesn't matter because it only has four thousands. Okay, so I'm going to put that as my smallest. Uh, because it only has four thousand. So let's look at that one. Next, I've got a nine thousand, a six thousand, and a nine thousand. Well, four thousand and then nine thousand. So I haven't even gone past the thousands place. I've already got my first two, Hawaii. When we get to Vermont and New Hampshire, it's a tie, nine and nine. So then we have to go to our hundreds place, and we're looking, remember, least to greatest, which one's smaller? Six hundreds, three hundreds. Okay, so that three hundreds is going to be smaller, so New Hampshire, which means we don't have to look any farther. Vermont is going to actually be our largest, so that is our order. Connecticut, Hawaii, New Hampshire, Vermont. Our answer here is B.